Hi, I'm John with Saddle Point Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to change the perf wheel on the optional perforating assembly for the MBM 307 through 508A automatic folding machines. Now what you're going to need is a Phillips number 2 screwdriver with a good bit on it, and then you're going to need a pair of pliers or tweezers to go ahead and handle the blades themselves. Blades are very sharp on the edges and you never want to touch them with your hands. As you can see, we've got the perforating assembly outside of the machine and we're ready to get started. The first step is to go ahead and remove the thumb screw on top. And then you want to go ahead and squeeze this lever here at the bottom of the assembly. And that raises the perforating wheel up off of the lower wheel. And then you can just pull this right out. Once you've got it outside of the machine, we can see the perfing wheel right here. And again, never touch that with your hands, that's very sharp. And it's held on with two screws. So let's get those screws off. You want to loosen both screws first, and because you can't really hold this here, what you want to do is rotate your screwdriver against the edge of the assembly here, and then use that to go ahead and twist that screw loose. Go ahead and loosen the other one, like so. And then you can remove both of them. Once you've got the two screws out, go ahead and take this upper plate off. And it's got two sides. There's a top side and a bottom side. Set that to the side. And then we can see the wheel right there. Take your pliers, go ahead and lift the wheel right off and out. Set that to the side. Now this is the medium wheel. And then this is a microperfing wheel. We're going to go ahead and put the microperfing wheel on. And it goes on the same way the other one came off. It slips right on there. Take that plate that we took off. Set that back on there. Make sure you align your screw holes. Get it all the way down there like so. Take your screws. You want to go ahead and loosely thread both of these on before you tighten either one of them. And in order to tighten them, we're going to use the same trick that we did to loosen them. And just rotate the screwdriver against the side of the assembly there. Tighten that one. And we're going to tighten the other one. You want to make sure that these are fairly tight but don't strip them because you don't want it coming loose when you're perfing paper. Now that is perfectly done. We're going to go ahead and set this back inside the machine here. Again, squeeze this lever, slide this back into there, set the thumb screw back in, and that's it and you're done. Now if you need one of these perforating assemblies or a wheel for it, please feel free to check out our website or give us a call. Thank you very much for watching.